Hey guys and welcome back to another random episode of 7 Days to Die. I'm joined back with Schizo and I've asked him to help me with a little project. Uh, as you guys know we usually do normal builds and kill zombies and go out and loot and stuff. But we, uh, we're going to do a creative build just to enjoy the last bit of Alpha 15 since Alpha 16 is looming in the air. Also there's a few modded uh, in blocks and admin tools so it helps us build faster. Because you might not finish in time for Alpha 16 since this is going to be a huge project. What's the admin tool called? Um, admin tool? Make sure you click on the developer blocks uh, icon. Uh, okay, I see it. You can see I, I almost never add... use these. I didn't add icons to anything. Because uh, that would require to download and shift, you know. So nothing's gonna have an icon, but you'll figure it out. It actually eats two blocks at a time. What? Oh wait, no, it's just nope. when I hold it in and it eats so fast. Uh, exactly, yeah. Uh, come over here, I wanna show you something. What's up? Are you here? Yeah, behind you. Okay, check this out. Okay, I got a stone block here in the corner, but it's an auto uh, floor stone, right? Yeah. Watch. Ah, crap. Uh, one sec. Whoops. Okay, I'll show you some. Okay, I'll just show you here. Watch. Cool. So this is stone, normal stone, eh? So it just grows out. Now That's you want to awesome. see something fun? What? Watch this. Okay, I'm just going to be at the front of the house here. You see me? Yeah? Yeah. It'll grow down as well. It's actually cool. As you guys can see, we uh, there's a few mods in that Schizo put in. Uh, for auto wall and auto floor, just to help us build a little bit faster. So this and the diner right behind us or next to us would be the two most would be the two most centered things. So take out these buildings first, then we can start plotting. Well, technically out. the middle will be right here behind the place where I am at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I'm just you know whatever. It doesn't have to be the exact center. These are uh, the two. <laughs> tell that to my um, uh, what do you call that problem again? If you, if you want to literally count out blocks around the entire town going to the well, not the town, just the castle that we're going to build here. My OCD. Because the castle is going to be in the exact center, you have to count the town and then you know, mark the exact center, right? Okay, not that much OCD. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm basically going to cut out all the in-between things when we're not talking. <laughs> Otherwise it's just going to be way too much content. At least you guys don't mind episodes that are like three hours long. This tool actually with my bit of lag, it destroys so fast that I also destroy the ground. Oh, it does that to me too. Guys, so basically the walls around the castle will be 100 by, no, 101 by 101. And then right in the middle we'll start the castle build. And then around that we might just make like farms and rural housing. Oh, by the way, John, my um, new headphones came in by a courier today. Awesome. Oh, that was actually and fast. This... Pardon? That was extremely fast. Oh, yeah. Well, because he's a courier, not the regular mail service. Otherwise, it would have been, you know, several business days. Pretty lucky they didn't just throw your package. <laughs> No, they're quite good here. Okay, so this after is about 47. Tax, after tax uh, and shipping and everything, it came to 88 Canadian dollars. Wow. But again, their music headphones are not like gaming headphones. So there's no mic, there's none of that surround stuff or anything. But that's not what I was going for. I was going for just pure quality of sound. Oh, 
the land claim is more or less the middle. I just went for the middle of the width. Okay, so this is 25. It's going to be rather big, eh? Over here yep. is the middle, where I am now. I don't know if you can see me from there. Yep. And then over here is 25. Wow. So it's almost going to stretch to about, yeah. Yeah, works for me. And that's just the castle and surrounding walls. Uh, behind that, I want to make some rural housing as well and farms. Sounds good. Did you place frames to count? Uh, I counted with the cobblestone block. Alright. But now that you said that, it's going to bother me, so let's just take away the grass. Oh damn, we have to destroy this shed as well. Let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 10 more. Yep, I'm going to have to wreck this shed. Why are you shooting me? <laughs> Just because. Does it damage you? Now for a moment there I thought it was still damaging. So I mean I hit you in the boob and I did 5 damage. You're shooting me yeah, with a gun. I, I think it's because you're in god mode right now. So you were aiming to kill me. Yep. <laughs> Dude don't let this peaceful build uh, turn into a war. Did you know I know one South African artist? Music artist? Who's that? D. Antwerd? Please do not say that you love their music. <laughs> no! <laughs> A friend of mine showed me the video. She's like, you gotta check this out! It's fucking hilarious! Well, they're not going for hilarious, they're going for serious. Yeah, that's, that's what makes it even funnier. That's the thing, people are always going on about proudly South African, but I'm not proudly South African. I just want out of this place. <laughs> Hope that doesn't lose me subscribers. <laughs> okay, so this is 50. Damn, this is big. That pillar over there is going to be the other wall. This is going to be fun. Kidding. How does this stag not die from a hit? Oh, um... Only block admin damage. The admin tool only does block damage, yeah. Uh, okay. Also guys, to focus on building, we put the zombie spawns off. So, it's we're just going to be a building series. Well, not series. It's going to be like a three episode or two episode thing on building. And we, in, we actually aim to build a rather huge town, so that's also why we're building in a town to help us out a bit. Also, towns are the only flat areas in the game, which is a, extremely stupid in my opinion. I hope in Alpha 16 they added more planes. Well, that was the planes, and the widespread flat areas, and then they changed planes to hills. What alpha was it last where they actually had proper planes? Good question. I think alpha 9 we saw the end of that. And I loved building on the flat terrains. That was nice, yes. Okay, so this is 50 and now I can start doing the corners. At least we won't be... Oh... Just as I said, we won't have to destroy the diner yet. Uh, the diner actually overlaps with the wall. I knew it would. But just like with a little bit. Are we going to do a cobblestone floor before we start building the walls? Um, or are we going to keep the dirt and uh, do like a, gra a gravel path like in the picture? Gravel sounds nice, actually. What I find completely stupid is the fact that if you destroy a car, for example this one over here, 
Just the frame, it actually explodes. <laughs> yeah. But I mean with a gun, not the admin tool. Why is this still standing? What, what was that? Huh. I took care of it. Damn, look at that all that iron. The cool part now is I can just I don't even have to count out. I just have to make sure that I stay straight and then place the block. Yep. Do you know what would be a real mind mm hmm if there was still Jasons in this game even though the zombies are turned off? I could arrange that. Just imagine that, you think you're still uh, standing next to me, and it's actually a Jason. I hate those guys. I love those guys. Did you destroy the... one frame that was over here? If I, if I did, it wasn't on purpose. Uh-huh. No, seriously. Uh-huh. Oh, believe, it, believe what you wish, then. <laughs> I thought the admin tool would be cool. Well, it is cool since you can destroy so fast. But I mean, look at all the holes that it actually leaves. Yeah. Those are easy to fill. Yeah, but that would annoy me so much in a normal game. Well, not if you have auto floor. Okay, let's see. That's the middle of that wall. Corner of this wall. Across from this, we'll make the other middle. Which side's going to be the entrance? North or south? West. Why West? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, now for this corner. Okay, okay, here's the, here, I gotta ask more questions. Um, how do you say West in Afrikaans? Or in Afrikaans? Afrikaans, yeah. What's Afrikaans? Afrikaans. 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 Say, uh, the A is like up. The U from up. Afrikaans. Afrikaans? Almost. <sighs> I want to pronounce it like French, right? I but don't know why. In Afrikaans, it's this. I'll just, I'll just pretend I'm an American and I'll say, How do you say West in, in, in South Africa? Are you sure you're not just mocking hillbillies? Not just mocking who? Hillbillies. Oh, hillbillies, yeah. I can already see Americans commenting, that's not how we talk. <laughs> Because every chance they get, they try to say that I say a boot instead of a bout. It's so funny that a lot of people can't place my accent, but then there's people that comment, Oh, are you from South Africa? I was born there. Oh, wow. People, yeah, actually, have, people have actually made it out. Did you just then again, me? how many people have really heard South African accents, right? And yeah, they still think we ride around on wildlife. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I've met it, well, not recently, but back in the 90s, for example. I actually talked to Americans that thought that we all lived in igloos in Canada. It's like, no, 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 it gets about 30 degrees Celsius here. There, there's no igloos. And finally drop. Okay, so this is this wall's middle. I wonder if we should make entrances on all four sides, or just on two sides, or one side. For a proper castle, I think it would just be the one side. So then north, perhaps. You know what, it has to be a north or south for me. Yeah, it makes sense. I would always go north. When I was a kid in school, Scouts. So you know they take you out to the woods and this is how you start a fire and shit, right? Anyway, they uh, gave us a little acronym on how to remember uh, which order north, east, south, and west was. So if you go clockwise, it's never eat soggy wieners. But if you go east, what? 
to remember where north, east, south, and west is on a compass, just start at the top, you go clockwise, never eat soggy wieners. <laughs> that actually sounds so know. bad. Yeah, the weird shit you remember from when you were a kid. Would have been way worse if that was a Catholic uh, teaching. <laughs> My dad was actually raised Catholic. And uh, he was actually an altar boy for a while. So I actually asked him one day, uh, I think when he was in my 20s, since he said he was an altar boy, I asked if he was ever touched, and he said no. So. Well, the shame could have said, uh, made him say no. <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure he wasn't. Just put the sound a bit lower, because damn, this, loud, this is too loud. I think 50 will do. I actually wish they could bring back the falling tree damage. I think you might be alone in that. Because I, know, I was actually never killed by a tree. Well, I was killed a few times, but that was my own fault. The only times I ever died from a tree was when I was dumb enough to do it from the bottom. So a lot of people were so standing at the bottom of the hill, chopping upwards. So obviously the tree's going to slide into them. So you said the only time that you died from a tree is when you were dumb enough to stand at the bottom? Yep. So, all the time? Well, not that kind of bottom, I mean like a hill. No, no, I mean, I was implying you're dumb all the time. Wait, now I'm lost. <laughs> you said the only time I was dumb enough and my response was so all the time? I actually hate saying it like that, eh? Every time you say uh, I was dumb enough to do something, you're admitting you're dumb in a certain way. You you are dumb. You just were, wasn't. You weren't that <laughs> dumb. Ooh, this one is a bunker. Well, not a bunker, a basement. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You want to see me die? So that started the cave. Wait, it, does this thing not have range? Uh, well, it has an uh, insane amount of r uh, range. Oh yeah, look, I'm way back here. For some reason, I thought you had to stand right next to it. Oh, not even close. I was wondering, uh, wondering why you were hitting me. Oh, that's because I'm an asshole, not because of the range. Oh, I can't deny that. You said it, not me. Every time someone kind of calls me an asshole for doing something, you know, asshole-ish, I always tell them the same thing. I never denied it. I never said anything different. Yeah, this should be the last... Ooh, it's actually going to fill up with the destroyed stuff. So you might not need the stone. A little bit of lag here. Yep. Just a smidgen. Okay, so we have the middle of the three walls so far, and we just need this one <laughs> corner. We have the middle of all I'm four walls. I'm looking here, and the curtains are still st in place. Even yeah. though the walls have fallen. <laughs> They're either not going to fall, or we're going to fall last. That's interesting. Oh, there they go. How much of the hole did it cover? Probably a good amount, looks like. Well, there still seems to be a, uh, gaps in between. I fix. I think I used up too much energy in the gym. Because I'm having uh, trouble saying certain words. Oh, uh, it wasn't 6x6, six six, it was 7x7 seven seven, the corners. Okay, so let's see. Since this is the middle of the corner, that means... Two... Right here. One, two, three, four. Yep. So, I just hope I don't make a mistake now. It's going to completely bother me later on. One, two, three, four. Yep, okay. So I'm just going to do the base of the floor like this. There is uh, definitely a bit of lag with me. Yeah, it's doable though, right? Yep, it's just the sound, so it's a little bit annoying. The tiles, I'm only doing two blocks high at the moment, so that I know exactly where to place the tiles afterwards. 
the walls themselves will be the right height from the beginning. So that the flooring, because okay. you said the flooring grows, right? Yes. So, taking that into consideration, I just want to get the walls up. So it grows to the inside, not the outside. Okay, so the walls actually five by five, and the outside corners of the towers are higher. Okay. Just need to remember this design. One shot at a time, otherwise it destroys way too much. Okay, so... It's bothering me now. Did I make this too big? So on the picture, what I see is this. Well, it's going to be higher than this, obviously, but I'm just going to mark this out now. So inside, I see a block. Void. Nope. Like so. And don't worry, talking to yourself is okay, as long as you don't think that there's a second person answering you back. So it's actually a weird design, the walls. So it's the cobblestone that doesn't have the picture. None of them should. It's actually cool. The way it builds itself. Yep. What it's doing is it's stealing the code from uh, growing plants. That's actually quite awesome. See, that's why it's bothering me now. According to the picture, we said the gate was five wide. One, two, no, it's three, two, one, like so. Imagine having regening walls. Yeah, I can do that too. No, I mean like you destroy the bottom lock and it actually grows to the bottom. Yeah, I can just make them indestructible in general. How big do you think we should make the wall? Like how high? Yeah. Well, if you're going to use the auto wall stuff, then just do it like 10 high kind of thing. Or 12. Two auto walls high. I hate how this tool also destroys the blocks downward. Yeah, I think that might be just uh, that the, the aiming sucks in general in the game. Yeah, like when you're digging for traders with a shovel. Exactly. Just sitting here for a second watching the walls grow, it's, it, it's fascinating. Huh, there's a hole over here. That happens. I hate having to destroy these incorrect uh, grow blocks. Still faster than placing them one at a time. That's true. Oh, something's wrong with me, man. I'm fucking Dude, itchy as- I'm itchy as hell everywhere. Jonesen? No, but I, it feels like something might have actually... I might have gotten some insects in the house or something. So I just feel some bumps. By the way guys, that voice you're hearing is a friend of Schizo's that we have in TeamSpeak at the moment. He's actually playing on his own server. Flash, you don't need to keep quiet on our account. You can talk if you want to. Uh, oh, I'm good. I'm um, actually playing a little bit of... <laughs> no, I'm playing a little bit on... Uh... Path of Exile Beta. Trying to get my playtime in before Monday hits. I just hope Alpha 16 actually releases on Monday. I hope so. I can't wait for Alpha 16. I just don't get why people are mad about the paint feature. People have a problem with that? Yeah, man. I think that's awesome. Yeah, people were complaining in the, on the server we were just on because uh, the streamers are getting uh, access to it and uh, they're not. But they don't seem to realize that the streamers are beta testing it for us so we don't have to. Eh, people are stupid. I mean, imagine the amount of complaining if uh, everyone got to the game and all these bugs were present. And they keep having to patch and wipe the servers. Yeah, that would be nice. I mean, you can make a steel base and then paint it any color you want. Exactly, you can have it purple, have it look like wood, you can do whatever you want. 
I mean, that paint feature is going to be a great way for people to troll in PvP servers. Create a stainless steel base, paint it to look like a shitty wood base, and you're all set. Or they'll just leave your base alone, because he's just got a wood base. What kind of resources could he have? Or just paint the base that it looks like it's made out of land claim blocks. <laughs> when I used to admin, there was a guy with a land claim block house. Wow. But obviously it was a hacker because in that early in the game it's impossible to have that many land claims. It, hmm. You think it's possible to paint uh, something like a, a pitfall trap and make it paint it look like a uh, wood block and have <laughs> someone walk on it and fall through it? That would be fantastic. Yeah, that would actually be cool. Oh crap, I gotta mod in uh, another block actually. Ah. Which block do you want to mod in? Uh, you said you want the floor to be cobblestone? Oh, I thought you already put in the grower cobblestone. Nope, just the cobblestone walls. How do you think we should make the wall over here, over the gap? I'm thinking of doing something perhaps like this. It just grows over. Yeah, that works. So much crap in the inventory, let's just dump a few things. <laughs> I just started doing that exact same thing. I'm just thinking, um, if I started using auto floor grass, the inside would be one block higher than the outside, right? We probably don't want that, do we? I don't mind. Okay. Besides, I was thinking actually of making a moat around this whole place and then having a bridge connect them and then over here, um, over on this block, we might just put the ramp frame and then connect the bridge to that. Yeah, that would work. It's easier placing these blocks when you're not in god mode. Yeah, it is. You move too fast. On the one server, I'm not going to uh, say names, I was actually kicked from being an admin because I was playing around too much, even though I was banning the most people, just because I used to use God Mode to build my own buildings in between helping people. You just reminded me, um, on a server, I'm not going to mention the name of course, I actually built the Walmart Supercenter, just like they have in the US and Canada. Wait, sorry, the what? I uh, zoned out for a moment. Actually, thought you were saying something about the wall. Uh, no. Damn it! I forgot that I switched off God mode to place the blocks. Now I fell and broke my leg. Oops. So you know why Flash has the name Flash? Because he's fast in bed. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No comment from him either? Jeez. I didn't hear it all the way. <laughs> oh, I said your name's Flash because you, uh, you're quick in the sack. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Well, that's what your wife told me. Maybe. <laughs> Joke's on you, though. You got herpes. Oh! <laughs> Does your uh, girlfriend also play games? Nah, I've tried. She refuses to do it. <laughs> no matter what he tr how hard he tries, she will not put on the gimp suit. Has she tried like PC and console games, or doesn't she play at all? She doesn't play any games. I think I've seen her play uh, on a console maybe once or twice, but it was really old Xbox, uh, the, you know, the original Xbox. So, I mean, that's really all I got her to play, but... Even then, it's not a lot. She just doesn't enjoy video games. Yeah, I think the real reason is because she's afraid she'll get addicted. That's actually a good thing. I actually wish I didn't uh, start playing games. I don't know if you guys have heard of Heroes of Gaia before. Uh, I've never heard of it. I actually found that game in high school, and since then, that, ga that game made me a gamer. So if it wasn't for that game, I wouldn't be a gamer today. I 
I think playing games on the Atari 2600 got me hooked. Okay, the wall's done. How thick do you think it should be to the inside? Um, give me a second. Yeah, so the wall would be three thick then. Are you sure it's not wider in the picture? Uh, no, it, it's three. Because if you look at the stairs on the on the left hand side, for example, yeah, you got stairs, and then you can tell it's two blocks, and then the wall. Hmm. Oh, it seems I actually counted the stairs as an extra block as well. Yeah. So the wall in total will be three blocks wide. So from the picture, it seems that the walkway will be about two blocks wide. Exactly. I think I'm going to complete these two towers, and then the other two we can do off-camera. Alright. It's actually going to be tough copying the towers from the picture. Yeah, it's a little weird. Of course, you don't have to replicate the picture perfectly. You can just make the tower any way you want, really. True, that'll also make it a little bit easier for me. Like, you can use uh, ramp pieces to make the tower more rounded, for example. You know, something you can't do in Minecraft. By the way guys, we got this design off Google from a Minecraft build, but it's a little different. Instead of a rectangle, it's going to be a square. And like um, Schizo just said, we're just going to do our own design a bit, so it's going to be a little bit different from the original. Also, the castle might differ a bit from the picture. These walls should be called creepers instead of growers, just like the plant. We got a bird. We got yeah. We got a bird out here. It's called a, a creeper. Actually, never heard of them before. They're kind of they kind of look like uh, woodpeckers, but they're really small, they're like uh, like finches or something. But they climb trees just like woodpeckers do, and you can see them hopping up the side of a tree. And it looks like, the, and obviously, I guess it looks like they're creeping up the side of a tree. So it's a nickname. No, that's actually the official name. The creeper family, or whatever you want to call it. It's looking awesome. It's actually starting to look like a castle wall. Oh. I'm just glad these blocks add up over here. <laughs> Oh yeah, you gotta you know, use some artistic freedom because, like in uh, Minecraft, they can't have. Uh, yeah, we can definitely make it look better than the picture. That's looking better already. I think these blocks might be a little bit off. That's okay. I can adjust it. See, so if you wanted to get all fancy, you could do this too. Like that. Should I continue? Yeah, it actually looks quite good. It's just on this side, it's not gonna be three wide, it's just gonna be the one block. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think that looks good. With the rounded uh, edges. Yeah, it definitely make, cause it makes it look better. Yep, I agree. Now I just have to do the same with the rest of the towers. What do you think about the top of the tower over here? Uh, yeah, I think it looks good. You think it will matter if I make the inside of the tower just a corner? Not really. Yeah, the inside can be square, because then it's just like a... You want like a doorway to get in and stuff like that. So like this? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Just like that. Okay, first tower done. It's actually looking quite good over here. This place is so huge, I actually have to keep uh, teleporting back and forth just to be able to move faster. Uh, yeah. Just need to measure out this side so I can do exactly the same on the other side. And teleport. Wait, this looks wrong. Yeah, I have to take this out.
Okay, so let's just count this out. One, two, three, four, five. So that's all the same. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five. Cool, so you're actually clearing out the inside of the tower so long. Yeah. At least I'm almost done with this tower as well. I just need to get another grove stack. There okay, four and four on this side. Okay, so the corner has its own block, then a gap, and then pattern repeat. Sounds right. But these towers are actually starting to look like a proper castle at the moment. Yeah, looking good. Damn, it's looking good. Now we just still need to add the floor down there and then start the castle build. Okay, so if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. If any comments or designs that we can even use in this build, please let us know down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe for more of this content. See you guys next episode.